In this video, I'll show you how you can connect a custom domain name from Google Domain Names to System.io. So if you've registered a custom domain name with Google and it's on Google Domain Names, I'll show you how you can connect it to your System.io account. So first log into System.io and that will take you to your dashboard, which looks something like this. Uh, once you're here, you want to go to your profile icon in the top right hand corner, then go to settings and inside of settings here on the left, you should see custom domains. So when it loads, you want to then go to custom domains. Now by default, you'll only have one domain in there already, and that will be your username.system.io. So we're going to add our custom domain from Google. So go to add domain in the top right hand corner. You can then type in the domain name that you want to connect. So I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to go to my domains. And obviously you already have to have a domain register registered for this to work. So my domain is called howtoonlinetutorial.com. So I'm going to copy this. I'm, going to, I'm then going to type in www.howtoonlinetutorial.com. We can then save this domain. Okay, so the domain has been successfully created. Now we need to configure the DNS, which is fairly easy, um, but just stick around. I'll show you what you need to do. So on Google domains, you want to go to manage on the domain that you've just typed in previously. Then go to your DNS settings, which will be on the left here. Now, once you've got to your DNS settings, what you want to do is scroll down here and you can see custom records. And what we can do is we can add these custom records from system.io. So this is very easy. You want to create a new record. So you've got two records and we're going to go ahead and add both of these that system.io gives us. So first things first, you want to copy www. Don't copy the dot. Then go to Google domains and paste that in here. Now type, we want to change this to CNAME. Keep this the same. And then in data, we want to copy all of this here. So we're doing the first one first and we copy all of this. We can then go to Google domains. We can paste that in and now we can do the second one. Now for the second one, you need to copy everything up to the dot of where your domain starts. So copy that, then go to Google domains and paste that into the host name. Then change the type to C name, leave this the same. And then on data, you want to copy everything over here on the second one. So copy all of this, I'll, you can see it here. So then you can paste that into the second data, then click save. And there you go. You've now added your custom records. Now this may take a couple of hours to a day to update, but if you go to dashboard and you close out of this and refresh, it should just say pending validation still. Now to make sure that this is actually configured, you want to copy your domain name. And if you go to something like dnschecker.org and you then paste in your domain and click search, if everything's green here, that means you've done everything right and you just need to wait. System.io have text instructions and they say themselves, if we just scroll down, it can be up to 24 to 48 hours before the DNS records are fully propagated, which means it can take one to two days for it to fully work. When the domain is ready, it will say ready to use and it will have a green tick. If you followed this along to a T, then it will 100% work, but I hope that video did help you out.